Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. The HTC HD2, now a two-year-old device, is still one of the most versatile phones out there. You can run Android on it, Windows Phone 7, Windows Mobile, Ubuntu, the list goes on and on. And now you can run Windows Phone 7 Mango on it if you want to get a preview and a taste for what's coming next in the world of Windows Phone. In this video, we're going to show you what it's like. Let's get to it. Okay, so the steps are relatively easy to get Windows Phone 7 Mango on your HTC HD2, especially if you've already installed Windows Phone 7 onto it. We'll post full instructions on how to do that uh, within the post, and if you're on YouTube, we'll put a link in the description. But here it is, Mango, and it's very much in beta. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't work. You're not going to be able to use this as your daily driver. Uh, marketplace isn't working, and uh, SD card storage doesn't work right. But you can at least get a sense for what Mango is like so that when it finally ships, and starts uh, being pushed over the air to all the existing device devices, you'll know what to expect. So we can move around here. Uh, we can talk about the Twitter integration now in the People Hub. So quite simply, I'm not going to go through the process, but now you have a new option for Twitter. Uh, this is all stuff you've seen with Mango before. We've got fast app switching. If you tap and hold the back button, just get this simple card-like interface. You can't flick the cards off the screen like WebOS. You can't close them, um, but you can quickly toggle between various applications. The internet browser has been updated, IE9, with better uh, HTML5 support, faster rendering speed. They've also kept the address bar in uh, landscape mode. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Let's just go to pocketnow.com. And as that loads over Wi-Fi, we can go into landscape. You can see the browser bar is there, which is nice. Previously, they took that out in landscape mode. And also, the browser bar is on the bottom now. This is quite a deviation from what uh, other mobile operating systems have done. It's usually always on the top in Android and iOS and WebOS. And go down to the bottom here and load the, whoop, load the desktop version of Pocket Now. See how it handles a graphic-intense uh, web page. So of course, as that's loading, we can go into our tabs, we can move around and, and add new ones. And let's see it load. Naturally, because this is a beta, this doesn't really represent how fast Windows Phone 7 Mango is going to be in terms of web browsing. When we get final shipping copies, we'll definitely do a speed test uh, between other operating systems and Windows Phone 7 Mango. So here it's loading a little bit slowly, as you can see. We can do pinch to zoom. Everything's supported here on the HD2. It works basically as if it were a stock uh, Mango device besides Marketplace and SD card storage. We go back to the home screen. We can fast app switch between now the browser session. Sometimes it takes a, a second to bring open that card interface. There you go, get a little preview of the website. And if we swipe to the right now, we get a little search bar so we can quickly search for, say, calculator. And you get your results right there. So you don't have to look through a really long program list if you download a lot of third-party apps. So again, we'll post a link on how to get this to work on your HTC HD2. It's great that with the HD2, if you have one, you can test software before it comes out, uh, and you can experiment and really see what is coming around the bend. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.